We used to fear someone watching us. Now the fear is someone reading us. Your smartwatch isn't just tracking your steps. It tracks your heart rhythms, your oxygen levels, your stress response, and your sleep cycles, which means algorithmically it likely knows when you're excited, when you're calm, when you're lying, or when you're taking a big old poop. That last part was a joke, but absolutely for real, because they actually do. Facebook claimed to have known this in like 2015, I think it was. The problem is this data doesn't just stay on your wrist. It's transmitted, stored, and sold. Insurance companies are already using your biometric data to adjust your rates. Employers are using wellness trackers to monitor your productivity. Some governments have tested mandatory wearables to track quarantines and enforce compliance based on your vitals. And the newest generation of these wearables, they don't just read your data, they're interpreting it as well. In most cases, they're assigning you a risk score, labeling your emotional states, determining whether you're compliant or problematic. And then your governments can gain that data through a warrant to know information about you no person should know. Because really, this means your body becomes the surveillance device. The natural occurrences inside of you that we all experience can now be weaponized against you. Things you may not even be aware you're having. But in this case, your privacy doesn't just disappear. It turns inward because you're the sensor and the product. But there are builders working on open source wearables, devices that store data locally, encrypted and never leaving your control, tools that enhance human health without feeding it to a grid. Because the difference isn't the tech, it's literally who owns the data. Most people fear losing their heartbeat. At Techyamo Labs, we fear your heartbeat being used against you. So follow Techyamo Labs before your body becomes your tracking number. And I'll catch you on the next one.